there's a definite need for dead space in cities, for wastelands, for things, for things just to be, just there to be spaces, which isn't a managed space where people hang out, they doss around, they, you know, just do stuff. Um, I don't think there's enough freedom in the spaces in, in and around cities, really. I know a lot about the graffiti, so I thought, you know. <laughs> I've appeared to more of that out than I care to remember, you know. All of this memory and all of this, all of this art and all of this time that people have spent putting into, putting into something creative and learning it and leaving it on that building is actually going to be taken away. It's not actually artistic what they do, you know, it varies from all kinds. Incredibly interesting where this worked land or this manipulated spaces or these structured spaces begin to unfold into something else which is neither here nor there. Well, as in regards there's been a lot of junkies about, you know, and all that kind of thing. Uh, you get all kinds of people. You name it, we've had it. I mean, they're probably just sitting around in their, you know, Ford Fiestas smoking dope, but it doesn't, you know, they only cause trouble when they're getting moved by security. And... You've had suicides and things like that every other week. Burnouts, you know, where they've touched uh, the corridors, things like that. And I'm sent there to put it all back together. What attracts them? Um... Maybe it is the freedom. If they're left alone, they'd probably be all right. But I don't know. They're just hanging out. A building is in the process of completely falling down. It's almost like it's beyond the realms of the kind of the law and what you should be what you should be doing, even though it might maybe fence from the outside. Inside that fence, there is no law. Places that people might walk past and they kind of, and they think, you know, well, this area is a bit rough because that's falling down, suggest that, you know, people aren't going to go there. So that freedom and away from those prying eyes is a way for those people to kind of get away from that and actually express themselves. For me, they certainly, as a visual person and as a creative, I, I, I definitely think they have a, they have a bigger significance than, than just kind of run-down buildings to be replaced by new ones, for sure. I don't know why, but I find that gap really amazing, and I see these spaces as a kind of physical manifestation of that in some way. I think they're quite romantic spaces. I think they're incredibly romantic. And I don't, I'm not quite sure why. They're really moving spaces as well. But I don't know why. Um, and I think that's why artists are appeal, they're appealing to artists. There's potential there and there's space to kind of dream in some way. Um, there's a, it's like a blank canvas, I suppose. I would find it very difficult for anyone not to be kind of inspired by something that has literally taken a completely natural route in its kind of decomposing process. Um, that it's that it suddenly becomes it suddenly becomes very visually interesting and very and very artistic. For me, there's not uh, the uh, character in the architecture today. No, it's just a plastic city. <laughs>